They even sell this on the vegetable shops. <laughs> so here we are to buy our food and water, accessories, <coughs> and some vegetables as well. Really got here more tomatoes and melons. So that's cool. So now we're just looking for water yes. and food stuff. It's a lot of stuff here. These are all the options we have. <coughs> this is the plank we're going to use. The view set. Because if you can toss them, right? Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Life Projects channel. Today I got it right. <laughs> and um, today, awesome video. We have a lot of things going on today. Um, right now I'm just sand, sanding down the last part of the small machine. So that it can go ready to get painted. Um, got stuff doing outside, um, updates on the chicken. Um, palace um, just now I'll be going also to review another car just to go out of it you know do something <laughs> and um, another cool thing which is a surprise if you keep on watching the video so um, thank you guys for joining our channel and um, let's get right to it so just setting down those parts right here which is a bit rough with this little the waltz uh, sander which is very cool because it's light and you don't even have to apply a lot of pressure so it's really nice um, then I just got to put some thinners on take all the dust out and get ready to paint so it's a cast aluminium so it's already got painted red underneath it and now I'm just getting ready for the top part because underneath I'm not really worried because it's always going to get bashed up it's the inside you know it also gets a bit then dirty because of the pneumatic um, cylinder, the electro valves, everything will just with time get dirty so that's already painted inside, it's good enough and now the outside part I want to make it look prettier um, so that it goes well with the machine and then we got these other these other pots right here. Um, got a bunch of different tools here. Also was working on the garden, so I got all the garden tools as well. <laughs> Being like just um, machine gunning work, you know. <laughs> I also got these ones already sanded down. Just show you a bit of um, what I'm doing right now. I just have to go and eat something because I'm getting hungry right now so and that's how we start the video <laughs> yeah our machine which we are working on today okay let me just pull it down because I can't really get the right shot from the camera so today we're keeping on working on it um, I'm still going to put some stickers on this uh, what have we done today? Oh, we're getting a better ground um, contact. Okay, because these machines, they need a good ground. Especially from the table to here, you know. So that it keeps the same current. So yeah, that's what we're basically doing today. Just updating this whole thing. Of course, it will look much different once I got all the, the covers painted. So today's... Uh, getting all the covers done um, Okay, also have to put a we really got our pedal For the machine as well You got to be all the safety things. So yes, pretty cool guys pretty cool. Let's get to it. Yes Okay, so we are ready Take this mask off Whoa, these masks are not easy. Okay. And done. <laughs> Got it all sanded up already. 
and um, now I'm just going to fill a bit more of these little lines, okay? Because these were scratches, that was, this was full of scratches. And uh, just going to fill this whole thing up now a little bit with more um, polyfill. And then um, ready for paint. Okay, so we already have the pedal installed here. Okay, pneumatic pedal. Um, yes, they can stay here because the lid is also going to go on top of here, so it's not a problem. Okay, um, so this is all good. We got our pedal in place. We really have our lubrificator and um, air regulator. Okay. So what else do we need? Now we just have to change these two. Okay. Um, we've already got our anti-spark system installed. We need the heated plates so that then we can do all the experiments so you guys can see what it's all about. So looking very good. Okay. Yes. Now we've already got all the other parts painted which are all here okay is all good one side and the other we have this part as well already all painted up now we just have to paint these tomorrow in gray okay gotta paint these in gray um because i couldn't do it today because i also had to work at the same time in the garden and do all the other stuff <laughs> so uh, yes tomorrow paint this in gray uh, get the primer and get the gray on it so it look beautiful okay everyone so now let's go to the welding parts <laughs> so i'm all ready here with all the tools i need so we're all ready we're gonna go cut some tubings down there so we can put the water tank and um, some more tubes on that side for the grapevines so today doing a bit of everything you know just uh, make the best we can of this day <laughs> and we finally got our food and drinking system and we got the melons and the tomatoes that we have to replace so uh, let me take this to the other side i think it will be much easier to show you guys Okay, watering all the plants. Even got ourselves a little rainbow here. How cool is that? <laughs> there you go, a rainbow. You can really see it. And um, strawberries are all growing up. They're yeah, looking beautiful. Got to put some more. And now we have to just clean up a bit the little weeds. Okay, so let me show you guys the. The drinking and fooding for the food, okay. Just put it in there. And I chose this one that has the lowest gap possible. See, can't even fit the finger so that not too much food just scatters out and wastes, you know. Like that, um, I know that they aren't going to be missing food in case of uh, accidents or whatever, you know. Because um, sometimes they just pull it out and it keeps on always falling because the gaps are too big in some of these fooding bowl so this one I thought this was really ideal all the best for the chickens it's going to be like lifted from the floor like just a little bit so that insects don't go inside okay and we'll hang it up from the tubes up there okay so that will be cool and so it'll always be in the shade and there's a lot of space for all of them to just go around um, boy are they always dirty in the floor but that's life <laughs> Okay, I already cleaned this today, but it's in a few minutes, it's already dirty. So, um, and there's only one chicken. I don't even have the other chickens yet, because I'm still looking. So this will stay more or less here, where it doesn't catch sun. Okay, this will stay more or less here, because here is going to be the wood planks that we already got. Okay, so these are the wood planks we're going to be using. They are 18 millimeters thick, okay? 
so this will help them to not slide off so we're going to put like two of these one on the starter point and then the other one will come more or less here okay so one here one here and then this place will be all left so that they can do their little nest where we'll put the hay okay so that's the plan um, because to reinforce the wood the best thing is just to put bricks under so I just put those main bricks there because those are the ones that I always want to have there and now I'll just put uh, other bricks beneath the planks but I also want to see where it's going to start arching you know because I can put one in the middle but it can start arching here so I want to make sure and be able to put the bricks where I want to uh, with time okay so we have our anti-skip tracks and these are the planks we're going to be using and uh, I think it's going to work great it's going to be a good idea and I'm just going to staple these little wood frames which these have like 10 millimeter so I've got the staple and I've got the proper staples just for this wood here okay it's actually like little like nails nail staples it's quite strong and you have to be careful when you use it and it will just keep it all in place that's why I say it's very quick installation okay so that's the idea and I think it's going to be excellent um, and now for the water system let's unveil the water system okay for the water system here we go it's a bit complex so this is like this you put it here in the sun so that's like that she really like I think she's it's a bit anxious about you have the system working on the little one I uh, haven't given her a name yet and I found out she's not five years she's already reaching seven years so <laughs> don't ask me how but she is resilient and um, this goes on right over there just pops in you got to take these, these little exits okay of the water the water is going to exit through here goes down here it's got a little like a guiding system and it comes onto here so each time the water comes out the weight this has like a valve inside it's okay it's got an, a valve with a spring so the weight will stop the water from flowing and once it starts to get empty okay it pushes down the water flows again fills it up so it only fills up this gap so that's excellent doesn't get too much algae doesn't get a lot of dirt it's very easy to clean just with the hose pipe so no accumulating too much water where then it gets bacteria and disease you know because i've tried that in the past and i gave it up so i've just been like changing the water every day in a bowl it's much easier but now with this it's going to be superior so this goes on to here i think it goes like this yes that goes on to there so i guess this is um this will have yes this will go on to there okay so I guess this is just to give it some weight this is where the hose pipe from the water tank from up there so I'm going to show you guys I've been working on that as well too uh, the hose pipe is going to come all the way from there to here I'm going to insulate the hose pipe okay and uh, it's going to go it goes here you make a hole this is silicone and then it just tightens onto the hose pipe and the water flows from here out from here see so it flows out from here, goes into the tube right here, and uh, that's about it. Uh, our valve, valve is inside here, okay, and it's a very easy installation. So all I'm needing right now is bring the water from uh, the tank, okay, um, into the cage. So this water is also filtered, it's the same water that we use for the house, so it's filtered, extra filtered, and um, it is very good quality water. Oh, there was even a manual here, I didn't even notice that. 
There you go. So I already figured it out for all this when I was at the shop. There you go, see? Yeah, in English, you see? There's the valve components, the spring, the rubbers, the sealants, the gaskets. The counterweights, exactly. The lid counterweights. And once it's all assembled, it looks like that. Which will look like that. <laughs> and uh, that's it guys so you miss are having a palace just for yourself right now we have to get you some friends for sure okay um, I'm still looking let's see I'm already talking with some people um, and I'm sure Next week, I will have this installed, okay, because um, I'm going to show you guys why it will still take me next week. So it's nice that I chose these soft rocks, much easier for her. These veggies are growing like exponentially and very fast because I knew this was going to happen because warm weather is here the eggplant really has the little flowers so that's getting ready to get eggplants um, these salads are almost ready to eat just a few more days and we'll be taking one to the kitchen <laughs> um, we have to cut more the, the chives because they are growing too fast uh, we actually have parsley there and it's getting overrun and there as well so that's we're gonna have to take care of that keep the garden all in shape um, every day we are cleaning it a bit but it just grows so fast so these tomato plants are really quite big they're really getting the flowers uh, now we're just going to change these ones very quickly and I'll talk to you guys about the water tank goodbye tomato plants and let's see why didn't you give? Let's inspect. So, yeah. The roots didn't quite grow into the ground. Because it was hurt. You can see from here where it got broken. It just uh, collapsed, you know, from here onwards. So, um, And now this one here. Right, so the roots are also very small. And once again, it did get hurt. I thought it was going to start growing from here, but that's life. The important thing is that we keep on trying. That's an experience for life. Just keep on trying. Never give up. Okay? The Lord is with us. We just keep on going. Every day. That's what we got to do while we're here. We do not give up. Okay? Give up is giving up for good you start giving up once then you give up twice three times and once you know it life passes and you just lose to have all those experience okay with people uh, with everything around you so it's very important to never give up get the strength okay and motivate yourself and other people and then you become an example to other people as well so let's go here now get this done this is also quite quick and now we just have to host pipe this one as well because we did on the other ones we did water the whole um the whole garden the plants and trees but we gotta get this a bit watered down because it is a bit a little bit dry not too much but it's a little bit dry okay just a little bit bigger okay okay there you go looking good better than what it was now they will have a chance okay and there we go. So Sasha doesn't have her, 
her final fund operation. So right now she's very slick maneuvering, you know. <laughs> she's very slick. She just zoo, zoo, zoo. So okay, these ones are done. Let's go to our melons. And uh, we had to take it out. Remember, guys, we are gonna try again here, just to make sure what went on. Maybe we'll be more lucky with these ones. Could have been the melon, so just to take doubts, you know. Um, we are going to replant it and make sure that it wasn't from the ground, but from the plants. It's also drier the weather now, so I'm not... I've, I'm feeling that it will be a good experience. Not really too worried about it. Okay. Once I found a frog here, so let's see if he's still here. Not the one from the last shorts video, in the last video, but a different one. Let's see if we can find him. I know Sasha found him. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Hello, froggy. Now this one has beautiful eyes. It's the same species as the last one. But the eyes were just very beautiful. Let me see if I can get check these eyes out guys. Look at that. You tell me if that's not a beauty. Looks like dragon eyes. So yeah, he's really cool there. So they've this isn't the same one from the last video. I see the eyes are a bit different colour. Um We've got quite a few of them here, so they just stay where we leave them. So I'm just going to cover him very gently and leave him where he was. He was there, and he will stay there. Now we'll have to make sure that no one steps on that zone. So, um, boom, boom, boom. let me put some markings here. This is like forbidden zone, because frog is here. So we're just going to put. Okay, I'm going to leave him here with his little space. He's all happy. Let's just put this marking here. Now to warn everyone, be careful with Froggy. Okay, no trespassing. You shall not pass. <laughs> okay, let's get the next melon. Uh, okay, so this was the last one that also collapsed. So the roots are quite good, but something happened. Could have been broken or so by mistake. I know Sasha was here smelling around, so. And uh, oh, you see, here this melon also isn't good. See, it's already collapsing from here, so. And this one, really, the roots are dying on this one, see. No problem. Let's just replant it. And give it another chance to another one. Okay. As a farmer, you do not give up. And I'm not a farmer. I'm just speaking as a farmer. Because <laughs> I don't know what you call who plants vegetables in small quantities. <laughs> okay. Now, let's get our melons. We are going to be using our little toys today. And that I'm going to make another video especially just for kids. Okay. Let's keep up all the variety coming. And do videos for everyone, you know. I think everyone deserves videos. Okay. And now we're going to take our doubts. What made the other melons fail? We will find out soon. So I'm gonna. So we're gonna have to make a trip to buy more vegetables. Um, I like going to different places because they use different seeds. Sometimes it also has to do with the quality of the seed, you know. So, so that's done. That's all good. Okay, that one's a bit flimsy. 
I'm just going to buy another one just in case. So these, the ones that I'm showing you that's re replanted are the only ones that were replanted. Because as you can see, these ones are growing much bigger. If you look at the previous videos, okay, I guarantee that other ones have not been changed. The watermelons are still the same. All these are still the same. Okay, those letters were very tiny. You guys can see in the last video. I didn't put another one back there because something was always tossing it out. Could also be a mole that uh, damaged the roots from the other melons. It could be. I need to cut these branches. Although the beetroots aren't getting affected by them. But we do have a cabbage that's hidden away there. Because the branches of the peaches are coming inside. So I'm going to have to cut them. It's not ideal to cut it now. So I might just push it up with something. Maybe I'm going to weld a a steel tube from there to there um you can see the arugula is big this one didn't grow so much but it's getting there so i don't change them unless they really give up on us okay i don't change them so it was two tomato plants and three melons so far the jam squash i'm just gonna let it a little bit bigger it's the same ground that i got from here so i think it's gonna catch up great because I needed this space to weld and why didn't I plant them because of this so today I already welded and leveled up that main tube right there that's going across there because we needed a main tube to give us reinforcements okay because we have two steel tubes that are going through inside the cement columns of the wall so that's super super strong so I welded the tube from that column to that one and then brought this tube right across here and just welded it on this frame okay and secured it right here okay reinforced it a bit okay with this steel bar right here onto this main steel frame here and now I have to reinforce because this is solid. So now I'm going to put the reinforcement from here to that tube right there. And then I'm going to bring another tube from there to here and weld it onto this one. So this one will hold the next tube that's going there. Okay. Because these tubes, I don't want to use them for that extra weight. I prefer to reinforce. This one's much thicker, this tube. This is quite thick. This is like almost four millimeters. So that will be fine. Um, I'll also bring a little tube down on this one, the same. But it has to come from here uh, 100%. Okay. So to put the tank. So first I'll make a frame all around the, the water tank. And then I'll take the steel frame and I'll weld it the frame direct on top of the tube. After I weld the frame on this tube, I'll then weld the tube from this tube onto that tube. Reinforce it at the bottom, reinforce that tube down to the main post, and it will be done. So then the water tank can go on top of here. We already got the water pipe. This water pipe will come up into the water tank, and then it will have an excellent which I'll put the automatic sprinkler to water the greenhouse, okay? Another one for a hose pipe to put a tap here in case we need because that hose pipe that always is on the floor is going to be attached on this wall. So we're going to put another one for the hose pipe. And then another tube is going to go all the way insulated, properly insulated to not heat up. And I'm also going to insulate the, the water tank around, around it. I've already got the material. And the hose pipe is going to go all the way into the cage okay and right into the water system okay all that just for the chickens so that they can have proper proper um, conditions okay so we also got the two tubes for the grape plants just as I told you guys I was going to do so now all we have to do is put a, the wire um, between them okay pass two three wires from one to another okay uh, so that then the grape plants can attach to the wires and grow from here from this tube to this tube 
and all the grapes will be on this side of the wall so that we can enjoy them and we can control the plants now um, they are growing well they've already got the little hands ready to the little claws <laughs> ready to grip um, they just need to grow a little bit taller they're trying to go to the wall i also left them on on that direction so once they get taller they will reach the tubes where they'll have the wires so that they can just grow across and uh, we're happy they are growing they attach well to the ground so i hope you guys enjoy that video um just to show you guys you know that i'm going to do all this work and i'm really motivated this is all for the videos you know all for you guys um if you guys want to see extra th stuff just uh, just tell me okay you guys can comment and uh it will be a pleasure to just um do content that you guys really want to actually see different stuff if you guys are enjoying it i'll just continue um the next video i'm going to upload tomorrow next video uh, it's going to be a shorter one and uh, then i'm going to share the car content okay because uh, i want to do an even better car review you know i always have to keep on improving like i said before and um so keep watching the channel guys so you guys are always seeing the latest videos okay um I'm using my hat, colorful hats, because uh, welding mask, you know, just doesn't let you do video with the hair the way it was. <laughs> so, um, still got the clothes from work, haven't even stopped today, because I had to get this, I said I was going to do this video today, and uh, no matter what, even if it was night time, I would be here, okay? <laughs> um, so, yes, thank you guys for your support, hope you guys are enjoying it and um, trust me there's going to be much more content even i'm just going to try to be different and different content um, just keep on building stuff to keep you guys entertained because that's what it's all for okay thank you guys see you guys on the next one out one two three wow